Hi folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box, Mind, Body, Spirit, Fitness, putting the healing back in health. Coming at you today with a video on why a poor Christian is a bad Christian. Now I know you're probably offended by that title. That might even be why you clicked on it, but I didn't troll you on this title. I firmly believe that if you're a poor Christian, you are a bad Christian, right? But what did I say? At the introduction of this video mind body spirit fitness there are multiple ways to get poor you probably only thought of pocketbook money finances and yes if you are unstable or poor in a financial way yes you're still a poor Christian you know you're still a bad Christian why if you go into the Old Testament I should have looked it up but there are some there are some uh, Psalms I think it is where it says you're supposed to leave an inheritance an inheritance to family, right? So in that sense, yeah, you, you probably are a poor Christian. Christians, we're supposed to help the poor, right? And we're supposed to tithe. So if you're in a spot right now where you are unable to donate money to the cause, to the church, then yeah, you know, you're not holding up your end of the bargain. You know, we're supposed to, whether it's a little bit, whether it's a lot, doesn't matter if it's a dollar, doesn't matter if it's $20, doesn't matter if it's $100. You should be donating money to your church, to your parish, right? And one quick fact, one quick thing on that. I was thinking about it today. I could probably make another video about this, but when it comes to the finances, you know, everybody wants to say, oh, the world's so hard. I don't have any money. My family doesn't have any money. If you think about it, once you get into the finance game and investing game, they say that your money should double every seven years. If the market does what it normally does, right? So pretend you get inherited fifty thousand dollars, right? And you are thirty, and you plan on retiring about sixty, right? That's four year, four seven year cycles. If it's supposed to double every seven years, that'd be four. So it would go from fifty to a hundred to two hundred to four hundred to eight hundred thousand dollars by the time you're sixty, right? Now, if you're not selfish with that money, and you leave that inheritance. Right? Pretend you, you already have your other savings and other things, right? You just inherited that money, so you don't really need to touch it. <clears throat> now pretend you only use 300000 of it because it was at eight, right? What's that for? Let me think. 50, 1, 2, 4, 8. Yeah, so you only use 300 of it, right? That leaves four. Now your children are only 20. You give them another four year cycle. That's 400, 800, 1.6, 2.5. Two, now it's at 2.2 million within one generation, right? They only spend a million. That's still at 1.4. Next generation, 1.4, 2.8, 5.4, right? All because of a $50,000 within 150 years, your family members in your family and your immediate family now have over $4 million. So look at it that way, right? So the thing is, it's if you get that inheritance, don't think it's just yours to blow. Think about those around you. So sorry, went off stuff there. But my body, spirit, fitness. What about your physical health? You are God's gift to this planet, to your family, to the world. You have great things to offer. If you're unhealthy, then you're poor, right? Health is wealth. So yes, if you are an unhealthy Christian, you are a bad Christian. Take care of your body. I know I abuse my own body with tattoos and, you know, the pot calling the kettle black, whatever, however the saying goes, the kettle calling the pot black, whatever it is. But get your health in order. You are a valuable resource to this planet. Take care of yourself spiritually, mentally. If you're walking around negative Nancy all the time and being upset, all you're doing is bringing everybody down around you. Right? You're making everybody zealous everyone else's world miserable that's a bad christian that's not our job our job isn't to go around bringing everybody down being a debbie downer we're supposed to be encouraging others keeping people positive right that's what it's about and then last but not least i'm going to go with you know if you do not know the bible if you do not know christianity if you do not know catholicism you if you are poor in your catechesis of the knowledge of the church of Christianity, of Jesus, you are a bad Christian. That You need to know that stuff. How are you supposed to be able to conversate with someone and bring them to God 
if you don't even know what your beliefs are and what the church teaches, that is a bad Christian, right? So, like I said, the food for thought. Yes, there's such thing as a bad Christian. You want to be a well-rounded Christian. You want to be a well-rounded person, right? We know we're going to have struggles and we're going to have downfalls and we're going to stumble along the way. But are you doing something to better yourself in all these different aspects of your life, of the lives of those around you? And if you are, you're on the right path. If you're not and you're lacking, you better step up. You know, there's no need to be a poor Christian. All right. So I hope that helps. Subscribe to the channel. Share and like these videos.